Hey there, Lakers. Welcome back to another edition of Laker TV. Coming up on today's show, a look at a new restaurant in Murray, our CCHS cheerleaders prepare for state competition, and a foreign student making waves at Callaway. All that and more on Laker TV. Welcome to yet another edition of Laker TV. Wow, Bradley, you've been up here two shows in a row. What can I say? The people love me. I'm kind of a big deal. Okay, well, let's just get started. November 16th, the high school had its annual blood drive. Teacher Samantha Hobbs stated that the blood drive only received 35 to 45 pints instead of the usual 65 pints. She said that this is most likely because of the time crunch as well as students not hearing of the events due to announcements. She hopes that next year the students will be more aware and donate more than the average of 65 pints. It's a well-known fact that it's very tough to make a success of a restaurant. For example, a few months ago, Murray's Tumbleweed Restaurant closed its doors, leaving one less choice for local residents looking to dine out. However, another restaurant chain saw the vacant building as an opportunity to fill a niche in the Murray market. Reporter Raceland Morris gives us a look at the new kid in town. I would recently went down to Mr. B's Pizza and Wings to talk to executive manager DJ Hamilton to get his take on how well this business is running. Business has been fantastic. Uh, we enjoy all of the families that come in and eat. Uh, we're looking for more families. Uh, we are looking to, for more college students to come in. DJ has worked for Mr. B's and Murray since the start and seems very passionate about his job, so I asked what makes it so enjoyable. The work environment's fantastic. Uh, restaurant business is stressful, and somehow they've managed to take the stress out of it. Uh, I mean, at one point we was working 75, 85, 95 hours a week, and I didn't mind it. It was hard. I don't, I, hey, I did it willingly. No complaints. I get up every, I enjoy waking up every morning and come to work. You do what you love, love what you do. That's what I always tell everybody. I wonder how much had changed from the past and what they were going to do to improve the restaurant. Well, what we did, it took us a while to change the style from a Texas, Texas bar and grill type environment to a family style restaurant where it wouldn't be people wouldn't just come in looking for uh, Tex-Mex. We're a pizza place, pizza and wings and it, it took us a little while to uh, knock down walls, uh, pull up floors, uh, detail the kitchen to where we could get start bringing in our equipment. Laker TV, I'm Rayslin Morris. Mr. B's first restaurant is located in Henderson, Kentucky. A second restaurant was later opened in Bowling Green, and now Murray's location makes three for the small Kentucky franchise. If you have a passion for art and film, then this Murray State Workshop just might suit you. Registration has just begun for the next edition of the Summer Art Workshop. This camp is friendly to artists of all skill levels and runs from June 11th through the 17th. Drawing, printmaking, wood carving, direct film animation, photograms, and art history are the focus of this year's camp. If this interests you, you can speak to Mr. Garrison in the art room or visit the MSU website and search for the Summer Art Workshop. You know, I always wanted to be an artist. I think I may try and do the workshop. Uh, I'm sure they would just tell you to van go away. Say what you want, but people pay serious Monet for my artwork. Okay, well, coming up during the break, a look at the Marvel franchise and what they've been doing, a new student in our high school, and a, our very own Lady Laker cheer team. Don't go anywhere, Laker TV will be right back.
On Monday, November 28th, the Laker boys basketball team opens their season up against Livingston County. And on the following night, on November 29th, the Lady Lakers take on Fulton County. All here at Jeffrey Gymnasium. Be there to support your Lakers. Things are getting strange today on Spotlight. Marvel Comics is back on the big screen again, and for all you Marvel fans out there, you won't want to miss out on their newest movie, Doctor Strange. Marvel Comics has made itself known for some of the best superhero films of all time, starting its line of success with Iron Man, hitting it big with the Avengers, putting us on the edge of our seats with Captain America, the Winter Soldier, and bringing us back for more with Avengers Age of Ultron. It's been hard to escape the Marvel fever, and quite frankly, many of us have caught it ourselves. Now our beloved comic industry is taking a step into a new type of superhero. Doctor Strange is the story of a neurosurgeon named Stephen Strange who loses everything in a car accident, including the use of his hands. When modern medicine fails him, he seeks other help and finds that mysterious forces lie beneath our common society, that being the forces of magic. He is then forced to make the choice between his life of fortune and status or fighting the dark forces of the universe as the world's strongest sorcerer. So what can you expect out of Doctor Strange? Well, with the use of amazing effects and dramatic storytelling, the movie aims to achieve some of the chills and thrills of a horror movie, but without being a horror movie in itself. That's a name that definitely sells the movie for me. And if anyone else is with me, you can see it for yourself at the local theater. And since Marvel is known for crossovers, we just might see Doctor Strange joining the Avengers in the third installation of the saga. Maybe we'll even find another Infinity Stone. Either way, Doctor Strange looks like another promising addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Doctor Strange is in theaters now, and if you haven't seen it, then we recommend you take a look. Find out for yourself if it's going to be too strange. Or a true Marvel. See you next time on Spotlight. It's a big weekend for the CCHS cheer team. They'll, com they'll be competing in the regional competition at Mar Marshall County this Saturday. Reporter Bria Duncan gives us a look into what it takes to make it to a state competition. We are CC! We are CC! We are This Saturday, the CCHS varsity cheer team will be competing at Marshall County in the regional competition. Their coach is Samantha Tuvino. The team consists of seniors Cassidy Mitchell, Claire Crozier, Lexi Yoakum, and Sydney Roberts, juniors Tori Black, Brooke Steger, Bria Duncan, Jordan Wyatt, and Ellery Gessler, sophomores Devin Contra and Emily Brown, freshmen Sierra Erickson, Abby Mayfield, Caroline Adams, Brooklyn Underwood, Rainy Gaddy, Cassidy McHouston, and Anna Wyatt. They will be competing in the medium division. They will be taking the mat at 11.30 on Saturday. Make sure you wish them luck. Have you ever been to a different country? What about for an extended amount of time? Reporters Jillian Hackathorn and Bria Duncan met with Chava, one of our foreign exchange students from Mexico, to discuss how coming to a different country can be challenging but rewarding. I just opened my jacket, Jesus Christ. you pronounce my name is Salvador Villegas. But almost people just say Villegas, but it's not that way. Because in Spanish, double L, you pronounce it like Y. But my host family are the Crawford. Well, I will tell them, first of all, to be careful like with what they say, because sometimes people hear when you say something, they take it like in a way you didn't mean to say it. You know what I mean? So my happiest childhood memory it's, um, see, when you're ca Catholic, we have like this thing we call First Communion, that is the first time you, you receive the communion. So you do that when you're like nine or eight years old or something. So in my First Communion, we first like, we were in the church, we did all the, like I did my First Communion. And then we, I had like this big party, like with all my family and a lot of friends or a lot of games. And, but my parents invite like a lot of people. So like when I get to my home, like my house, I have like a lot of gifts. But like not like in none of my birthdays, no no Christmas, I have received so many gifts as that day. Well, customs and traditions. I don't know. For example, like Halloween, it's the same there. Like we go out, you know, in the neighborhood, trick and treating and stuff like that. But only when you're like like a little kid. Like at this age, we don't do that anymore. Even people will tell you like. 
guy, you're too old for be asking for candy. Like they used to tell me that when I was like 12 years old because I was tall and I was really fat. So they, they, they thought I was older and when I was like asking for candy, nobody wanted to give me candy because they say I look too old to be asking for candy, so. Oh, um, my name is Salvador Villegas. I like being called Chava. I'm from Leon, Guanajuato, Mexico, well, Mexico, and uh, I'm 15 years old. I stared at the camera. I was just looking at the. <laughs> so, which advice would I give to them? Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to have to edit <laughs> And then just go. And leave. <laughs> Last Thursday, the Cali County Chemistry team once again brought home the title of champions from the 46th Annual MSU Chemistry Contest. This is the fifth straight year that CCHS has won the overall tournament. Claire Umstead placed first overall, while Michael Okuda and Zach Ellis placed third and fourth respectively. Not only did the students win bragging rights, but they also won over $2,500 in scholarships and cash. Good job guys, way to represent. High school events can get heated for both teams and fans, but this isn't the case for one of our own sport, sports organizations. For the second year in a row, the Callaway County High School Boys Soccer Program earned the Region 1 Sportsmanship Award. Sponsored by the West Kentucky Soccer Officials Association, this award takes into consideration the sportsmanship of not only the team, but the fans as well. Congrats, Laker soccer team. Now that we established our soccer team is kicking their competition, it's time to say our goodbyes for a while. That's right, Bradley. Thanksgiving break is next week, and we won't have a show till December. How will the audience manage to go without seeing me for that long? I'm sure they'll find a way. I sure hope so. Well, that's all for this week. See you next time, and have fun eating some turkey. And as always, Go, go Lakers! Lakers.